every day you log on to Facebook or YouTube and see a three or four minute video that I made in some country around the world. Then you go on with your life and do whatever it is that you do. But in reality, that three or four minute video takes me 15 hours to produce every single day. But in this video, I wanna show you my day-to-day -day life behind the scenes so you can see that my job is not as easy as it looks. 7 a.m., the alarm goes off. Brush my teeth, take a shower, maybe shoot something at sunrise, and if not, then start researching stories, finding locals and locations to shoot, and writing scripts, which takes me about 45 minutes each video. At 8.30 a.m., I eat breakfast. But I'm mostly in a rush, so I grab something quick at 7-Eleven. <music> 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Shooting content in random countries, meeting up with people, interviewing them, working closely with Michael to get the best shots possible. We have a general outline of what we're shooting, but the content is often spontaneous. We film with a Mavic Pro 2, DJI Spark, Lumix GH5 with tripod, Sony a7 III with gimbal, Osmo Pocket, GoPro 7, four iPhones, two lav mics, and one shotgun mic. Sometimes we film two or three videos in one day. Pick up an unhealthy lunch at some point, but still working while I'm eating. 6 p.m., come back to our Airbnb or hotel room, dump all the footage, which is about 30 gigabytes a day, and we store them on these 10 hard drives. I carry every second of footage that I've ever shot with me at all times. Then I proceed with my voiceover in the room. This is how I record my voiceover every single day. Okay. After that, we hit our computers to edit the video. Michael takes the lead on the cinematic intro sequences you see, like this one. and I take the rest of the editing, piecing the story together. It takes us anywhere from four to 10 hours to edit each video. Michael uses Final Cut and After Effects, and I use Adobe Premiere Pro, and we mix and match. Pick up a quick dinner on the go at some point. Then, before uploading the video around 11 p.m. Manila time, we need to create the thumbnail, add the tags in the description, and respond to the first 100 comments. 11.30 p.m check emails, post on Instagram, speak to my manager, Skype my parents, and finally fall asleep around 1 a.m. Then wake up at seven. And repeat the process all over again, seven days a week, 365 days a year. I haven't even mentioned the struggle of doing this on travel days when I fly across oceans, working in airports or airplanes, or when I'm traveling in remote countries where there's limited access to Wi-Fi and I need to wait six hours just for my video to upload. Even on holidays and those days where I'm feeling sick, I can't remember the last day that I didn't make videos. I have sacrificed my health. I don't work out other than walking at least 10K a day and playing golf when I can. I do not have much of a social life. Video creating consumes 100% of my time. It's a non-stop grind. While it appears like I'm complaining about my job, I really do enjoy it and I have found my passion. As I say, if you love what you do, then you'll never work a day in your life. Extra energy. I'm Drew Binsky. And <laughs> That's a funny blooper. Step to Google. Okay, I'm Drew Binsky and we're about to explore one of Thailand's most spectacular temples. Cool, again, uh, energy. Is that something in the beginning? No, the beginning it was just a little less energy than the rest. Yeah. I'm Drew Binsky and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.